finally we were able to get the Crew-10 launch. There was a couple of delays with things, but we were able to get a successful launch for that. But the crew on board is uh, veteran astronauts Anne McLean and Takuya Onishi. This is their second space flight for the both of them. Anne McLean is the commander. And Takuya Onishi from JAXA, the Japanese space agency, a little later is going to become the next commander of the space station. They're also joined by the first timers, Nicole Ayers and Kirill Peskov, both flying for the first time. Originally, they were supposed to launch on one of the new crew vehicles that SpaceX is developing that hasn't flown into space yet, but they needed a little bit more time to make sure that everything would fly well with the vehicle and that they wouldn't have any problems, which is perfectly fine. I would rather them take as much time as they possibly need with a crew vehicle. So they did a little bit of swaps with uh, the schedule that they had planned for the crew vehicles of Dragon and were able to switch them over to Endurance. And this was finally able to launch on Friday. And we were able to get some really, really awesome views from this. Yeah, it was nice to see it finally get off the ground in a sort of rare-ish kind of scrub for a SpaceX crew launch. It's not, it's something that has happened before, but uh, again, you know, the, the last few flights, once SpaceX has gotten pretty much to that, that gate, that T minus 40 minutes of, are we going to go into fueling or not? Most of the time, if they have crew on board, they have managed to get through that gate. Obviously on the first attempt, they weren't because of that hydraulic issue. So they had to scrub, disembark, go back to the crew quarters, chill out for 48 hours, and then tried again on Friday night, but it was a very, very beautiful launch. Some of the burn back maneuvers were just incredible, and this looked just as good as any of the Starship launches that we've been seeing recently. So well done to everyone at SpaceX who were able to provide us with some of these amazing views. The sunset, uh, it was, you know, some of the imagery uh, coming out, uh, SpaceX has published some, just some absolutely beautiful images, especially from the Starship Tower, because it's like a, a new massive, you know, they're not launching Starships from 39A yet, right? But they can use it in the meantime as a huge camera mount, essentially looking down on 39A. I, I just, it's absolutely spectacular. That that sunset timing was, you know, orbital mechanics working with, uh, working with uh, photography conditions there. This crew is going to uh, relieve Crew 9, which currently has uh, Nick Haig and the uh, not-stranded astronauts, <laughs> uh, Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore. I thought it was really interesting, though, how we got this kind of floating panel there. And it turns out, I guess, that it's just insulation. But everyone kind of, myself included, kind of freaked out for half a second. I'm just like, what is that? Why is my spaceship falling apart? Yeah, it's like, flo like uh, foil backed or whatever. That's right, yeah. <laughs> 28 hours later, this crew capsule was able to rendezvous with and dock to the International Space Station. And once Crew 10 is able to get acquainted with the station and get their feet wet, so to speak, they'll be taking over duties from Crew 9, who will be returning to Earth very soon. Crew 10 is expected to stay at the space station for several months, coming home as early as possibly July of this year, as long as there's no other delays with the schedules. It was really cool, though, to see the uh, um, uh, the crew. There was something interesting after the docking that I wanted to share as well. Uh, one of the uh, cosmonauts, <laughs> Ivan Wagner, decided to dress up as an alien and <laughs> bring out the crew <laughs> from inside the window. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I love astronaut hugs. They turn into, like, full body grapples. Yeah. <laughs> It's great to see, and I'm definitely going to miss uh, seeing uh, uh, Sunny and her her crazy hair and, and a lot of the jokes that they've been able to, to have. So this is great news, and I'm sure that NASA is, is very relieved that this mission is finally underway and that they'll be able to get back on schedule with the, the regular crew rotations.